to start with an explanation uh, of why we're still working when there is a SAG after strike. Uh, like the soaps, soap operas, uh, and game shows and news shows, uh, we work under something, a different kind of contract, which is called the network code, which means that we are allowed to continue on as we're not actors at the table acting the view. Uh, it's a different kind of contract. So that's why we're still able to vote, to, to work. Uh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to My View on the View, a community here on YouTube. For those of us who enjoy ABC's The View, we get together, we talk about any and everything, as you know, surrounding our show. I'm so glad you joined me today for a brand new episode. I want to talk with you because the pressure is mounting on Whoopi to do something. And uh, we got to talk. So listen, the clip that we just listened to together was, of course, our beloved Whoopi on this past Monday, explaining why she and the other host of our show are not on strike and are still continuing to work despite the actor strike. Because what's happening to us is happening across all fields of labor by means of when employers make Wall Street and greed their priority, and they forget about the essential contributors that make the machine run. We have a problem, and we are experiencing that right at this moment. This is a very seminal hour for us. I went in in earnest, thinking that we would be able to avert a strike. The gravity of this move is not lost on me or our negotiating committee or our board members who have voted unanimously to proceed. Yeah, and as we know, the writers, uh, excuse me, the actors went on their strike, oh, strike a week ago. Uh, the writers have been on their strike now close to 90 days, and so have the directors. Remember, a lot of you know I shared with you that Michael Moore, uh, film director, film writer, screenwriter, he has been on strike since May. So here's the deal. Whoopi is now facing more pressure from her own fans. And these are not people who are fans of The View. These are fans of Whoopi Goldberg, the actress, the comedian. She's facing questions from them on her social media, uh, other places online, as to why she is not standing in solidarity with her fellow actors and comedians who are out there on those picket lines. Listen, we just talked about Monique pointing out the fact, comedian Monique pointing out the fact that Whoopi criticized her when she was talking about standing against this Hollywood machine, the pay disparity, all those things that Monique talked about, being blackballed because of it and rejected, actually, by folks like Whoopi. The big names in Hollywood, um, black actors and actresses, who just felt like, listen, you shouldn't do this. You should close your mouth and just go along with the program. So people are just calling Whoopi out. Will she do this or not? Let me read a few things that I found here that people are saying. They're calling Whoopi a hypocrite. Now, I don't believe Whoopi is a hypocrite. I'm just telling you what they're saying. Um, they also say here a lot of uh, her fans are asking her um, because she's on the board. Uh, she's on the motion picture board. They would like to know what's going on. She's a uh, SAG, uh, SAG after member. And she's also, uh, according to some of these people on their board, um, they're citing people who are out there on the lines that are big names like her. Uh, Bette Midler, Susan Sarandon, Ted Lasso, Dermot Moroney. Remember, he came to our show a few weeks ago and he politely walked off in support of the writer strike. Uh, listen, y'all. Uh, even our beloved Yvette Nicole Brown, who used to fill in from time to time on the show, uh, she's out there picketing. So so it, it's getting crazy. Now, I want to tell you another portion of the story. Remember that clip we listened to where Whoopi explained the different contract that these types of shows are under? Well, a lot of fans are pointing out that that was an excuse because they're pointing to GMA, Good Morning America, which is also, as we all know, right, guys, a Walt Disney ABC show. And let me read here what they say, because I am not a GMA watcher, so I didn't even know this was going on over there. Um, but the fans are pointing out that George, Robin and Michael have been conspicuously absent 
on and off for the last two weeks. And this past week, near the end of the week, they were all gone on the same day, uh, same couple of days, and they had to have fill-ins. Now, these folks are saying that Michael, George, and Robin are not giving reasons for why they're not, uh, why they're absent. They kind of like come and go. Now, somebody did point out that Around this time, a lot of people take vacations, especially if they have families and children and things like that. And we do know, or at least I should say they said here that Robin was covering Wimbledon. But then other people pointed out when she came back into town, she came to work and then she was gone again. So it definitely seems like that is possible because we don't have this confirmed from GMA that George, Michael and Robin may be standing uh, in solidarity with their fellow uh, you know, actors, or they're not actors, but I should say they're friends in the industry. Um, a lot of those people you see on the picket lines, yes, they are a part of the Writers Guild and Actors Guild, but some of those people are just standing in solidarity with their friends in the industry. Uh, one of my favorites, Lupita Nyong'o, uh, she and her boyfriend, uh, he is not an actor. Uh, he is not a writer either, uh, but he was out there supporting her and, of course, her fellow colleagues. Let me look down here and see what else they're saying here. Now, Here's what I want to say. I think that's pretty much it. Um, I talked with you guys about this a few days ago, I believe, uh, last week or sometime this week that, you know, when this first, when the actors first went on strike and people began to ask, hey, how is that going to affect our show? Because we've seen how the writer's strike, right, y'all, has affected our show. Um I was seeing that a lot of fans of The View, so not specifically Whoopi's fans, but just fans of the show, were wondering if she and Joy were going to stand in solidarity. But I reminded everyone that Joy is a writer. Joy is a writer. She writes plays. She employs actors and actresses. They do her plays in New York. She has this big thing they do once a year. Joy didn't stand in solidarity with the writers, period. So I didn't understand why anyone would expect for her to stand in solidarity with uh, actors, right? The people she employs. Um, and as far as everyone else, I pointed out, you know, again, not I wasn't trying to be ugly or anything like that, but I just wanted to make it known that just because we see these people on television, we assume that they're rich. We assume that they have so much money that they can afford to strike. And, and just to tell the truth, it just isn't that way. Remember what I always refer to. Remember Jason Momoa, the guy who had been a part of and he I believe he still is a part of he and his brother or somebody, the Marvel uh, universe series, those movies grossed billions of dollars. What happened during COVID, which led to his divorce from Lisa Bonet, is that he came out, they did an interview, he and his wife, Lisa, and they said, we're broke. We don't have any money. And people were shocked by that because they were like, okay, well, what did he do with all those millions he made from those Marvel universe movies? And so I, I just like to, to just say again, that just because we see these people, we can't equate, equate that to saying that they have so much money that they can afford to be out there on the picket lines. Um, of course, we know people like Bette Midler, Susan Sarandon, who are out there and tons and tons of others. Oh, sure. They are just out there um, because they're past, um, I think, probably being in that that space in Hollywood where you're like living paycheck to paycheck. Again, I'm assuming. But it would seem to me that Bette and Susan and the rest they're out there more standing in solidarity, just a show of support. Like Michael Moore said, um, he's just doing it to stand in solidarity. You know, um, he is not starving. He can pay his bills. His family is well taken care of. Um, now, as I end, I want to say this. I, I really think that if we are at some point going to see Whoopi out there on the picket lines, it'll be after the show goes off. Because remember, season 26 that we're in right now, it ends in about two and a half, three weeks. You know, they go through the first week of August and then they're gone for those next three weeks going into September and they come back right after the holiday uh, in September. So it could be it, it's very possible that she's just holding out, you know, until uh, they go on their break. And then, you know, we'll see pictures on her social media. Um, and trust me, if she's going to be out there, her folks, uh, they're going to get pictures because all of these folks want their fellow uh, colleagues, and of course, us as fans to see them out there um, saying that they at least understand they were once where some of these people are, where they were living paycheck to paycheck, having to, you know, 
be a bus boy or a bus girl at a restaurant or, you know, whatever. Um, someone sent uh, me a story saying that I forgot this actress's name and I apologize. A lot of you probably know who she is. She's like this famous actress. She's on strike and they got a picture of her working at some store. Um, so who knows, you know, why she was doing it or, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe she, again, like I was saying, maybe she actually, even though she's very popular, maybe she's not very rich. And so she was supplementing her income. I don't know. But as I end, I want to just say that a lot of us are still wondering, like, how is this going to affect the show going into season 27? Because even though they are going to take their summer break, it's not a, a very, very long break. It's not two months or three months. It's just a few weeks. Well, guys, hopefully for the sake of everyone involved, especially those who are really struggling, um, they will have all of this resolved before our show starts again the second week of September. If not, I think, of course, we'll see the show doing what they are doing now, which is the ladies writing their own stuff, um, you know, kind of struggling through. Um, who knows? Will will more people on that show, will they strike or will they, uh, you know, do something? We don't know. Um, but I really think our show is going to be OK. I really do. I, I really do. I don't think we have anything to worry about. A lot of people are saying they miss their late night shows. What the when are they going to come back? You know, there are people who are going to straddle the fence in this in terms of in the business. And there are people who are going to pick a side. And a lot of people are saying, as I am, that they feel like Whoopi picked her side when she gave that statement on the show. Of course, she said she was speaking for the show, which I believe she was speaking for all of them. Um, but as some people pointed out, um, she could easily um, on her Fridays when she's not there, be out there on the picket lines. But I do want to remind everyone that Whoopi is 67 years of old, years of age, and she is not in the best of health. Okay. So it's not like she used to be during the AIDS crisis and some of those other things where we would see her out there sweating, you know, long hours out there talking to the media. She's in a different place in her life and I'm not making excuses for her. I'm just letting, I think some of these people who are criticizing her don't know that Let's just say she wanted to be out there. Her health is not uh, to a place where she could be out there probably no more than 15, 20 minutes, maybe 30 at the most. Um, when you see Whoopi doing events now, you normally see her sitting down. So it's not just her sciatica and, and some of the other things that she has, but Whoopi has breathing issues as well. And this heat ain't no joke. And the air quality also is no joke. So as I end, I want to thank you for listening. Listen. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you find you enjoy hanging out. And if you really love hanging out with me, why not take it a step further and subscribe to our YouTube community? That's my view on The View. What say you? I'll talk to you on the next broadcast.